He is indeed. So he's just walking in front of us now, and you can see he's walking towards that light. And I wonder if he's not going to have a drink. There's another little water hole here where he can have some water. And so maybe, just maybe, he's going to have a little drink here. I'm not sure if he will, but we're going to try and see. And what we're going to also try to do is just see if we can get around him so I can show you his face. Mateo, a lion will live, a male lion, normally between 12 and 15 years as a male. A female can live as much as 18 years, but it's generally a male that lives a little bit longer. Now, I'm just quickly going ahead so that I can show you his beautiful face. So, hold on two seconds. It's a quick little loop around. And here we go. There we go. So there is our male under the sunset. You can see the clouds. Isn't this beautiful? And there he is, just walking straight towards us now. Look how magnificent that male is. Hello, boy. And he's just saying hello to all of you. He's looking up at you just to wish you all a happy day and hope that you are really having fun with us and enjoying your afternoon with this incredible lion that we have. Sorry, Ferg, don't worry. I'm going to turn around and make your life a little easier. <laughs> don't fall off the chair. So Ferg said he almost fell off the chair and you don't want to fall off a chair near a lion because we know lions eat meat and we don't want Ferg to be eaten. Do you want to be eaten? No. No, okay. Excellent. Not today. I would rather you stay on there because otherwise I have to fill out some paperwork <laughs> if you fall off. But he's still just moving slowly down and the rest of his brothers apparently were seen to the other side of us here, straight where he's walking. So maybe, just maybe, they're going to join up and we'll see all of them together. can see he's still just walking straight and this is why male lions can move big distances at night is because they look for their brothers and they also patrol their territory and so it means they cover a lot of distance and they can go quite far sometimes they'll even walk as much as I was just listening to some impalas while I'm calling at him but they can move sometimes more than 10 miles in a night just trying to patrol their territory Roshni, you say he looks awesome in infrared? Well, we'll get into that now. Look at the saliva coming out. <laughs> so Andresia you say crazy cool well there doesn't get anything better than that that is my favorite sound in the whole world I absolutely love listening to male lions roar it is so so nice to hear them and it is crazy cool it's as cool as it gets really so we're very fortunate to be able to be experiencing this and did you see the saliva as he was roaring because he's pushing so much sound out there is saliva coming out of his mouth and he can actually see him almost spitting as he exerts all of this force because he's using his lungs and he's using his big 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 voice box now our voice box is about the size of a matchbox but his voice box is almost the size of my forearm and so when he roars he's compressing the sound through there with big lungs and muscles that are attached to his hips and that forces the lungs and the air out and that's why that sound can travel so far other male lions will be hearing him roar at over three miles away which is crazy in fact even almost five miles away So Nathan, you say how far can his roar be heard? And as I just said, as much as five miles away. So he can be heard a long way if you're another lion. Us as people, we'll only hear them at about three miles, but that's still a long way. Imagine trying to shout and hear your friend at three miles away. It's going to be very difficult. You probably won't hear him at all, but this is cool. We're being so spoilt at the moment. 
and the fact that he's just walking down the road for us just makes life that much better. So Lynn, you say that vibration is so powerful. It is indeed, and you, I can't tell you how even the car, bits of the car will move a little bit when he roars like that. Now he hasn't even roared at us, he's been roaring away from us. But you can imagine if he roars at you, and if there's more than one male, then the sound is absolutely phenomenal. It really is huge. Now, I'm gonna just quickly turn my lights on so that we can see him better because he's not looking at me now. When he's looking at me, I don't want to use my lights and that's when we use our infrared lights. But when he's walking away, it's easier that we can see him and see where we're driving so that I don't have a car crash because we don't want to have a car crash as we're going. Now you see how he's got a black tail. Now the reason he's got a black tail is because that's when he's following he wants his brothers or if his brothers are following him or if he's with other lions they can see him as he walks through the grass and that allows him then to be able to follow one another and also for him to be able to see his friends now i'm going to try pull off a little bit more because we need to let our friends come past talking about friends and let them have a nice sight as well so we'll let them come through And there he goes, he's just going to carry on down the road and keep walking and we're going to keep following him as well and we'll just keep leapfrogging as we go. Now we're going to carry on following our line and Byron is still looking for other animals that come out at night.